Ball one. Contreras held it there an extra second, hoping for the call from Jeff Nelson. Keep that in mind because it plays a part later. 1-1. One, one. What I want you to notice on these outside pitches is Nelson works the scissors stance, and look how far over the outside part of the plate he gets set up with Contreras. The only point I really want to make is it primes for an outside corner strike. Like again, I'm not saying it's good or bad, I'm just saying notice where the umpire starts. He's setting up for an outside corner strike call, is this catcher. Up with. Outside corner, got him. And Carlson run up, Jeff Nelson said that's right there. I mean it was there as in that's where they set up. Big strike out for Hendricks and the Cardinals lead two. Back here in St. Louis, somebody just got ejected. The crew chief and plate umpire Jeff Nelson chatting with Mike Schilt. I wonder, you know, Schilt came out to protect Carlson when he was arguing initially, and then it looked like it had all settled down. But maybe uh, he went back into the dugout, saw a replay of the pitch, and decided to uh, re-engage with Jeff Nelson, who had enough, gave him the heave-ho, and now uh, Schilt wants to get his money's worth. This is tough because referring to a video is ground for ejection. Umpires can't see the video, yet had this been a challengeable play, this is outside the margin of error and could be reversed, but the umpires don't get the benefit of that doubt, and Schilt is not going to let it go because he definitely did see the replay. Nelson's trying to say, I warned you twice, stop sign and everything, and Schilt's just adamant that you missed the call, you missed the call. At this point, he's not going to change the call. What can he really do? Yeah, the umpire screwed up. And hopefully they don't screw up next time. Mike Schild is hot. Manny Gonzalez did a nice job. Kind of same between he and Nelson. Setting the pick. Schild was, took a little heat from the uh, from the press last night after the game. They were questioning his pitching decisions. And he got a little testy. This is where the whole accountability argument comes from, too, because, like, if a player screws up in that situation, the player, let's say, swung and missed at the 3-2 pitch, then you end the inning, they don't get the opportunity to tie the game with the bases loaded or take the lead, and the player might get benched, sent down. The umpire accountability, well, what's the accountability? The umpire's not accountable. This is the accountability. The supervisors and the powers that be review these kinds of matters afterward, and it could potentially deny someone a postseason assignment or other reward, if these errors are made too frequently. Also, remember I told you about the umpire setup earlier? Look at it, the setup now. Not so outside anymore. 